In the win over Boston College, 97-93. Posh Alexander and Julian Champagny did really nice work. And that jumper right there. On the baseline, Averett, St. John's active hand. Barcelo jump will go. I, I feel handcuffed. All right, we'll, we'll work it out. We're going to work this out. I love it, though. I love this pace. Barcelo straight on, and he gets another, so a good start for their leading scorer. A couple times so far tonight. Champetti gets it back and puts it in. You figure, you go play for Matt Painter, he knows about playing hard. Yes, playing hard, discipline, and somewhat structure. I think that's the thing. By Harms, here comes Averett, and they got numbers. In the lane, floater will go. It's not. Hard hit. Cut to the gold, little fade away, and that rattles in and out and in for Greg Williams Jr. Basic tempo for BYU. I think you have the advantage if you play frenetically the way St. John's wants to play. Then you probably gonna lose the game. Jumper will go there. Goes on the line with nobody on the line, and people say. I just think it messes with whatever you're used to. That's kind of the way I see it. Style, not only to the player of today, but also the way the game's called. It's not, you can't play as physical as they, they did in the early 90s and mid 90s. It's just not that style. It's a little more fun and free flowing. Shot there, carrying her off the mark. And the other way, from the Cougars, from the elbow. And Barcelo able to knock that one down. Erlington had it knocked away. Ahead now, George, pull up, got it. George, they have poor spacing for a moment. Now spread it out a little bit. Just beyond the free throw line, and Trevin Nell relates the pace, right? There's another miss. We've seen them run and jump even on a defensive rebound, but at the same time, it's just not as effective. It makes you vulnerable. Uh, I would also say as another shot goes down for BYU. And he comes flying in. Cole going to work. He went behind the back, turns, and high arc shot will go. Right. Raises money each year for the V Foundation for Cancer Research. Ryan Ruko and Rebecca Lobo making their way. St. John's, if you want to learn how to play with feel, play St. John's. I think it's a great preparation for the season. Inside, count the basket. Jumper off the mark. And that one, Alexander able to save and get it into Roberts, who puts it home. That is not a save. From the corner, Barcelo got it. Roberts had it and then kicks it out to Cole. And Cole knocks down the jumper. I still would say you got to give BYU credit from the move as he gives off Cole. Cole loses the hander, Loner up ahead, Barcelo. And the bucket, he's got a dozen. And next Barcelo got into the swing of things, and a dozen points in that first half. There's a steal, and immediately the other way, and one for Champagny. And that three wouldn't go, Barcelo lost it. Alexander up ahead, and the throwdown right there from Isaiah Moore. Marcelo Harms did a good job looking opposite yep. and found a shooter. And he's also tall enough to pass over the top of the defense. He's like jumper, and that'll go for Isaiah Moore. So St. John's within two. Pressure coming from the Red Storm. And now a wide open Harding drills a three. If you missed that, it's an automatic runout. Champagne jumper. Alexander the rebound, wow. and he puts it in. And now Barcelo into the front court. And putting it in that time is Gideon George. Got in close and just dropped it in. BYU by five, and the pace is picked up more with the jumper. He will get 20 minutes of fun. Might want to cover that. 
that'll go. Kind of. This is the game they want, right? Back and forth. I'd probably pull a muscle on my way there, though. Harden collects the air ball from George and puts it in. Adai Wusu got it. That's a big three right there. Toss up ahead. More the two hand stuff. That last foul, by the way, on Trevin Nell. Inside and Champagny to Crispin. Harward finds Loner and one. You also add to what Lorenzo Romar is doing at Pepperdine. He's doing a terrific job getting some talented kids, too. Barcelo, nice move. And a quick takeaway there from Williams. Burlington puts it up and in and a foul. As we close in on 11 minutes to go. He makes some plays and you're like, oh, gosh, that guy's a pro. But it's been the consistency that just hasn't been there. Yeah, Penny. Able to Right side, and Trevin Nell able to knock it down. Jumper right side, got it right there for Connor Hardy. If I'm Mike Anderson, I'd, I'd really consider, and this may sound strange with Matt Harms on the floor, going small. Uh, I would consider going small because threw it up. Harms and Harding with the rebound. Alexander <laughs> takes it away. Williams zero step left hand is good. Harding beat inside and Harms with the deuce. Little zone look here. Really interesting. Just disruptive. Unless you give up a wide open shot. Uh, Barcelo able to get into the paint, not actually. Good look. And Champagny plus one, Alexander. Shot clock winding down. Averett gets inside. Oh, just unnecessary. So count the basket. Somebody just shoved their own teammate. I'm watching the monitor for the first time in a while. Inside, Gideon George with the bucket. Sure, that's part of it. Yeah. You're trying to ease him back because he's going to be a major part of this program this year. Yep. And you can see how they play through him. You can see how they trust him. And see, defensively, they're much better when he's on the floor. Yeah, it from the corner. First double digit lead of the game for either team. Champagny answers. Yeah, he's good. Eight. Alexander Champagny from the free throw line. Short wow. offensive rebound and a putback. Holy cow. That's and St. John's gets a steal. Alexander. And it's Adai Wusu with the bucket. Who do you go to? Who do you trust? And these are a lot of things if you're St. Just practice. Yeah. Penny fires. She gets that to go as a two. A really good look of the game. Totally. Sitting here. About five minutes to go in the game, and you locked in on that. Yep. Shot wouldn't go. Put back. Wouldn't fall either. And BYU gets the win 74 68.